me in this video i don't know i don't know because i'm in my new seat yo yo in my new seat yo yo i think i'm getting a bit too excited but guys look at this new velvet chair that i've got going on here Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a video about my achievements of 2018 and my goals for this year coming. I don't really like New Year's resolutions just in the fact that like there's too much pressure on us all in life as it is um, without adding all these resolutions like I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to do this, I'm going to... Do you know what I mean? I don't really like these resolutions because I feel like you have to do them that year whereas goals, they don't really have to be achieved this year. We could achieve them in the next five years. You know, it's just a continuous goal. So I wrote them on my phone. Usually I'd be writing them down on like a booklet or something like that, but I found it really hard to think of achievements of last year. Um, so just kind of like last week, since like the last sort of last week since coming into the new year, I've just been like writing them down as I go and seeing like what I think about myself and like thinking of what I did achieve last year because it was quite a tough year. So let's get started. I will start with my achievements and we will end with the goals for this year. So going on to my phone, my first achievement I have come up with was, first of all, I moved out of my mum and dad's house and moved into the flat. I think that's a pretty big achievement. Um, I settled into like life, not living at home pretty well. Um, yeah, I really enjoy, I enjoy living with Lou and just like living not at home, but not in a horrible way because I like living at home, but you know what I mean. I just enjoy life not living at home and I kind of adjusted to it totally fine. So I'd say that's my first sort of like achievement of the year, although I'd kind of moved in before the start of last year, I really well and truly settled in this 2018. Um, at the start of 2018, my next achievement I would say was, I was actually signed off work, like this is, I was, it's a really tough subject and maybe I'll do like a full video on it. But I was actually signed off work for about, I think it was about the whole of February. Um, I started suffering, something like there was different things going on in my family life and home life. And I started really suffering badly with anxiety to the point where one day I'd gone into work and I literally, I walked into work, I just remember I was, I phoned in sick one day. I went in the next day, I literally went to the bathroom straight away and I could feel myself, I thought, this isn't good. Like I'd had a bad day at home um, and I was just thinking, maybe I'm just having a bad day. But then the next day I went into work and I just remember standing in the bathrooms and I was literally, I was crying and it was just awful. And I had this like fear, this like sort of anxiety inside me. I thought, I just cannot do today, I have to go home. So basically I was signed off for about three weeks off work. I was just, I didn't leave the house much. I was constantly, I just had this horrible feeling inside me, I was constantly crying. Um, yeah, it was a really horrible month, February 2018. But, um, I'll maybe do a video more on the topic of this, but what my point of my achievement was that I conquered it, I got through that month, I went back to work, um, as, my, as a supervisor, I went back, I smashed it, I continued the whole year, been a supervisor and um, on the days where I wasn't feeling 100% because I'm not joking, you do get days where I'm not feeling 100%, the other day I was like, I was having the same thing, I was feeling horrible, but you just, I just sometimes just think you've got this, it's eight hours, you're at work for eight hours, you can do this, do you know what I mean? It's like if I was sitting at home in my pyjamas all day, which quite a lot of the time I do sometimes think to myself, Oh, I wish I could just sit at home in my pyjamas all day. But you're not going to make yourself feel any better by sitting at home in your pyjamas. Um, if you just go to work, see people, be a bit more social, I always think now that's probably the best thing to do. Do you know what I mean? But then I do admit some days, there's days where you just don't want to see anyone. But I may be doing a different video on this and let me know in the comments if maybe I should do more of a video on it. But I'll just go into that. So that's one of my achievements was been signed off work for three weeks. That's obviously not an achievement. but the achievement at the end of it was continuing to be a team leader and supervisor for the rest of the year and um, I was totally fine, I got through it, do you know what I mean? So if you're in the same situation, it is definitely a light at the end of the tunnel, is what I'm trying to say. Next one is going on lots of fantastic holidays while I was having kind of a tough year. I just was, I obviously struggled that month after not getting paid properly and um, been off work for that month, but I just continued to work hard for the rest of the year. Went on lovely holidays with Lou and yeah, just had a really thoroughly good year um, on going on different holidays, weekends away. We went to Gran Canaria and it was like the best holiday ever. Um, so yeah, I just continued to have a good year despite the sort of a horrible start. Yeah, my mum and dad, they got a new puppy at the beginning of the year. And this is a bit of a random achievement, but con considering I had quite a rough start to the year with, you know, suffering from anxiety and been off work, um, 
I noticed that I, when I got this dog, I was like, oh, I'll start taking him out more. And I never was one for walking. Like, I wouldn't go out and, like, get my hair all frizzy and, and no makeup. You know what? I mean, not that I wear much makeup anyway, but I was one of those people that I probably wouldn't have gone out walking in the mountains. But since they got their dog, Bertie, it's brought something out of me. And before, I would have never, ever, ever have gone out walking with the dog by myself. But, like, literally, I found the confidence inside myself. And I just loved it. Every morning, I was getting up, walking the dog in the field. And it just brought up a lot of confidence inside myself. And it made me feel pretty good so that's another really good achievement of 2018 and now if I'm on a day off I actually message my dad and say dad come on let's go out for a walk let's go and walk the dog and I just have like I don't know a new love for like being outside in nature and like, I love going to the beach with the dog I love walk walking in the mountains with the dog so yeah I thought that's a pretty good achievement this year because it made me feel actually better about myself um, it made me feel a lot stronger as well so yeah Dog walking and been out in nature was another achievement of 2018, which I think was a pretty good achievement. Another one was starting my dream of starting YouTube in September. So at the end of September, basically I was saying all month, I'm gonna start YouTube, I'm gonna start YouTube, I'm gonna do YouTube. And then it, we went on holiday to Gran Canaria in September and I had two weeks off work. So we went, for the first week we went to Gran Canaria and then I had a whole week at home. And on the way back from the airport, like back to where we live, I kept saying to Lou, this week I'm gonna start the YouTube. And Lou was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then every day for like the next, we had seven days off work together after that. And I kept saying, no, this today I'm gonna start YouTube. Today I'm gonna sit down and do this YouTube video. And then on the Sunday before coming back to work, Lou was like, are you gonna do this YouTube video? And I was like, yeah, 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 I'm gonna do it. Got to lunchtime, he's like, how are you gonna do this YouTube? And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. And then finally I sat down in front of my, t like I sat down over there, um, literally just with my iPhone on, on a, um, like docking, I'd actually bought one of those stations online. Um, you just put your, you know, tripod station. What talking about? I bought a tripod, or tripod, tripod online, and I put the phone on it. Hi there, guys, and just started it. I was so flipping nervous. I'd always done Instagram stories, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, go and follow me on Instagram because that's where I post most days. Um, and I'll put my Instagram just down here. But yeah, I just thought it was one of them things where I was just like, hey, you need to do it. And if you're not going to do it now, you're never going to do it. So I just sat down, said hi to the camera and just welcomed you all to my channel. And so if you're here from that first moment, make sure you put a big thumbs up or a big smiley face or something in the comments. Because um, that make me really smile. So yeah, <laughs> that was a really big achievement from 2018. Because I finally did something that I've been wanting to do forever. And I actually did have a channel from before. Um when I was like 13, 14, so I have been doing YouTube for quite a while, like as in like when I was younger, I used to do singing videos and it was, I was also doing bad on that channel, but yeah, I just did it like a kid, just out of my laptop camera. <laughs> but yeah, that would be my achievement from my last achievement of 2018. Considering the year was quite tough, I didn't achieve really anything else other than that, but I'm not doubting my achievements because um, it was just one of those years that I just wanted to get through the year. Um, I'd had a tough start and I was just really happy to have got to the end, still be working, still be feeling um, good. And yeah, that would be my achievements of 2018. Um, so now we're gonna go on to my goals for 2019. First of all, I'd say my first goal would just be to continue trying to be as positive as I can be about life. Um, don't let something get me down so much. I'm such a big worrier and I get myself so worked up about things, i.e. last February when that happened um, to me. And I don't want that to happen again this year, so I just want to make sure I'm feeling super positive about things, keep myself um, doing good things. And this YouTube actually really is helping me because it's like on my days off, I won't just sit in my pajamas all day watching TV. You know you've got to get up, get a bit glam, do a video, and it makes you feel much better. Um, well, it, it does me anyway. So just keep being positive and um, hopefully I'll have conquered the anxiety mode by the end of the year. It probably will always be there, but um, I'll know how to deal with it much better, if you know what I mean. Okay, the second um, goal for 2019 is to hit, first of all I was like, hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, and then I was like, hey, maybe that's a bit too extreme. So, I'm not going to hit a goal which is un, what's the word? I'm not going to go aim for something that's too high and then be disappointed. I watched this video on someone saying that, like, don't aim for things that are like, you know it probably isn't going to happen. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to aim for 2,500 subscribers by the end of 2019. So we'll see. You've seen me said it now. So like, who knows? I might hit it. I might not. Um, and that's one of my goals for YouTube for this year. Um, and just to continue making fabulous content for all you guys and hopefully you like, watch, enjoy watching them. You know, that's the main thing. And yeah, I'd say that's my goal for YouTube. 
The next ones are, they're, they're pretty boring really, but it's to do with the household stuff. So, when we moved into the flat, the front porch is still not done. There's still concrete on my front porch and it dry. I'm looking out there now thinking, every time someone comes to the door, I'm like, yeah, I'm really sorry, we're decorating. We're not decorating, I just haven't, it's just not been done. The front porch, is still got concrete on the floor and it drives me insane. The next one is to finish the bathroom floor because that's still got concrete on it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the rest of the flat looks quite nice but the bathroom floor is still concrete and it's just got loads of bath mats on the floor to make me feel better about it. I do have the flooring for the bathroom but we just need to get around to putting it on and I haven't got around to doing that yet. Well, obviously I'm not gonna get around to putting the bathroom flooring on, do you know what I mean? This is my dad, I'll lose job. Um, so they need to get that put down this year because that is one of my goals and it is going to get done. In fact, I might even try and get that done this month. Start getting serious about buying a house. For the last couple of years, me and Lou have like willy nilly been like saving, but nothing's really been like serious saves, if you know what I mean. Um, we dip into it for going on holiday, you dip it into it to do something else. But this year, I like want to seriously get serious about saving um, for a house. You heard me say it. So yeah, whilst also being able to enjoy life and go on holidays, do you know what I mean? Because that's my favorite thing as well, is exploring the world and going on holidays. So it's like, I want a bit of both. Even if we don't own a house by the end of the year, that's not the end of the world. But I want to be in a position where I've saved much more money by the end of this year that um, will be in a better position. Do you get what I say? The next one is finishing touches in the flat. There's certain things that when I moved in, Lou had here in the flat, like there's a couple of mirrors. I want to get rid of them and put different ones. So just like finishing touches, make sure the flat looks complete. But then I suppose a home never looks complete, does it? Because when you get to the end and you feel like you're happy with it, you've got to repaint the first room. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> It happens everywhere. Our bathroom was the first room we painted last year. And I'm like, it feels like we only did it the other day. But I looked at it the other day and I was like, no, that needs painted again. It's a never ending job. Do you know what I mean? I want to get better at my skincare. Like, guys, if you're watching this and you're very good at skincare, different products, um, I'm not, I don't really get breakouts on my skin, but the one thing I don't do is I don't have a very good skincare routine. If in fact, I'll be honest with you, I don't really have a skincare routine at all. All. like literally I don't have a skincare routine but I'm gonna be getting wrinkles soon I'm gonna be getting um, lines on my face and I want to be prepared for it so if you've got any skincare recommendations or brands that you like know that are very very good that you guys use and maybe they're similar age to me so I'm 22 and I'm 23 next month so if you've got any like skincare recommendations then hit me up in the comments and let me know because this month I am going to get well the next month I'm going to get some skincare products and I need to get them preferably I want something where I can apply it at night time because I don't think I'll be very good at applying it in the morning um so yeah, if you've got any good skincare recommendations, please let me know. So that is all of my um, goals for this year that I can think of. Apart from just like continually be good at my job. Um, yeah, I think that's all my goals I can think of really. It's quite hard thinking of goals for the new year. I wouldn't want to set myself something too like mega. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, um, thank you very much for watching guys. Um, I'm gonna put all my links below to like my Instagram and, and um, my, other video, my other recent videos. I did a Primark haul, so if you want to check that out, I'll put that below as well. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you've just found this channel and go and check out my Instagram guys because I post on there daily and um, usually I'm doing Instagram stories and things like that and I do like fashion posts and all those interesting things. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. I will see you later. Bye. Bye.